Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Reliable NBA. Before we get into this video, go ahead and like and subscribe, but most importantly in the comment section down below, agree or disagree with what I gotta say. And also, leave a like if you think the LA Clippers will make some noise in the playoffs. Not make the playoffs, but make some noise in the playoffs, like getting out the first round or something like that. Now I wanna get into a, to just some simplicity with this video. I'm not gonna get into no advanced stats or, you know, showing different things of what they're doing and like, you know, what player, this and that. I'm just gonna get into the simplicity of why I believe, and from what I've seen, what makes the Clippers such a good team in the West. And it, it comes down to actual simplicity. When you watch the Clippers, if you do watch the Clippers, first of all, it, it's nothing amazing. There's no there's no main star. You know, Lob City's done with, Blake is gone, DeAndre's gone, Chris Paul's gone. That LA Clippers team had a sense of like, man, you expect them not to do good. So they don't have that ego. They have that 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 underdog feel, that underdog tempo. So when you have that, you play hard all game. You don't have you don't have anything else to really worry about, man. There's nothing to lose. You you, you already expect it to be the worst team or the worser team in most matchups. So you just play with heart. And that's what they have. They have a lot of guys with heart on that team. Guys like Patrick Beverly, guys like Montrezl Harrell, guys who play with a lot of energy. But what's most important is they have good players. And what I mean by good players is fringe all-star like players during their career. Like for right now, it's Tobias Harris. He's their main go-to scorer, him and Lou Will. And these guys have been mentioned as like, you know, these guys could be all-stars. Uh, they could make it. They could make it here. They can make it there. Oh, they got snubbed, this and that. But they're not necessarily all-star like players. They're not Giannis and and Kevin Durant and Curry, like these super players who are just supreme, like that are just unnatural. They're just really, really good at their roles. There was a time when uh, Gallinari, before he got hurt, at one point was probably the third best small forward in the league. Back when it was like LeBron, you know, KD. This was back before, you know, the rise of Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. Gallinari was up there, now he's back. Gallinari, Tobias Harris, they space the floor and they do their job good. And that's another reason. They, they space the floor, they keep it simple, they run pick and rolls, you know, they set screens and guys play their role. They do their, you know, there is no ISO basketball, you know? Well, why do you think the Rockets are struggling? Because they lost guys like Ariza and Luke and Bob Mute. These guys are not like superstar players, but they're great. I mean, the Rockets have amazing guys like Chris Paul and of course James Harden who can ISO amazingly, but they're, but when you lose those good role players, those hustle energy guys that the Clippers have a bunch of, that's why the, the Rockets are kind of not doing as well. So the Clippers, of course, like I said, they have great players in great positions. No one, there's no egos there. There's no, I'm used to DeMar DeRozan, for example, especially when he was on the Raptors. He was always isoing and being the man. And guys like Melo had to ISO and do all this, try to force it. Like, there's no need for that. You got to play team ball. That's what the Clippers are doing. They're playing team ball. And they just, they just keep the ball moving. They do simple things like pick and rolls, screens, and they just, everybody everybody knows what they got to do. They know who their go-to guy is, even Lou Will. He don't even care about starting. There's no egos here. He don't, he's like, hey, I don't care if I start. I don't care how much minutes I got as long as I'm out there to score and end the game. That's why I'm there. I'm there for the wins. I'm not there for, for starting and all this and that. Like, people, like, that's why someone like Melo, like, he cared about starting and all that stuff. He wasn't even good. Like, he, he not even playing good. Like, you worried about starting. You need to worry about finishing the game. And I feel like that's where the chemistry and the attitude that the Clippers have and the way they play is why they're doing so well. You know what I'm saying? Nobody, there's no, no one is having a bad plus or minus game and, you know, advanced stats. Everybody's just playing in their lane, doing what they got to do. That's what I see from the Clippers, you know? And because of that, guys like Tobias Harris, you know, when it's time for his shot, he knocks down the shot. He works on that. Guys like Gallinari, you know what I'm saying? Even Shea Gilly gets the rookie. He comes in, he's a rookie. And he's doing well. He's getting his minutes. Why? Because he's just a rookie. He know he ain't supposed to be out there being a star or nothing. He's just playing in his role and he's doing great. So, that's, so I feel like that's the best kind of team you got to have. I like, And that's why I feel like the Clippers could make some noise in the playoffs. Like I said, the West is tough. But at the end of the day, um, we just got to see how well the Clippers play. They have good team ball throughout. They have guys, they have guys who have um, uh, playoff experience, deep playoff experience. So... Um, they got a lot of veteran guys, a lot of good versatile guys. So I could, and Doc Rivers, one of the greatest coaches of all time. I can see him uh, helping the Clippers, you know, win a game, you know, win a series. Because you also got to remember this the Clippers are always, even if they're doing good, they'll always be seen as that underdog team because they got no star. They can have a good record, but it's like, you know, like think about the Atlanta Hawks that had uh, 
60 wins. Even though they got swept, <laughs> I mean, still, they, they were still a good team. So I would say look for the Clippers to make some noise. If you guys agree or disagree in the comments, let, let me know in the comment section down below if you agree or disagree. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'm out.